I'm Dave Emerson. I'm Vice President of Yokogawa's U.S. Technology Center in the Dallas area. Yokogawa is a member of the Open Process Automation Forum because we see a decades-long trend in the changing of the automation industry and we embrace this idea that it's time for something different. As the information technology uh, has advanced, operational technology needs to absorb that technology faster and faster. And this is a chance to collaborate in the industry level, to get some basic um, standards in place that can create a new generation automation system. And we do not see this as, um, as a incremental change, but more as a disruptive change. And it's gonna add value to suppliers like Yokogawa, to our customers, and um, to the industry in general. It's gonna open up new avenues for innovation. And so what we view this as with OPAF is the move to the controller level. And what we're essentially defining are a set of interfaces that are gonna open up the controller level. It's gonna decouple hardware from software so therefore that software control algorithms, um, alarm generation, and, and other functions that have been bound to hardware, it's gonna separate them and let them be deployed as necessary and, and in the appropriate place for each customer. The real value that Yokogawa, our competitors can offer end users, oil and gas companies, chemical companies, food and beverage, pharmaceutical companies, all, all process users, um, is really the, the ability to use software when they, where they want to, when they want to, in a system that's gonna give them value. Um, lower costs, uh, be more flexible production, is going to um, let them open up and move things around in that system. And so companies like Ugawa, what we will be able to offer is software that can do high value um, optimizations, scheduling, operations functions. It can do advanced control algorithms. It will be a platform probably where AI can come into it in the future, machine learning can come in and be much more flexibly deployed as needed. So we see a lot of benefits for our company to grow into new areas and also for our customers to value from that software. The open process automation forum right now has released um, a preliminary specification, we call it OPAS, Open Process Automation Standard. It's um, in the process of being finalized, will be issued later this year um, as a final specification. But this is one of three major releases we're doing. Um, the first one, version one, is targeted to interoperability. The second one is being targeted to um, application portability. This is what the control, the um, our customers, control engineers, they can design um, um, control strategies, which can then be moved between their systems. It can be, if there's a major system upgrade, they can be moved up to the next level, and they can then progress and maintain that. They're really, this is really their IP in a way, information, um, intellectual property, that they can then maintain no matter what supplier, no matter what mix of software they use. And that's got a very important aspect for them. And so from a supplier standpoint, with a very small footprint of technology, we're going to be able to create radically different systems. We'll be able to mimic a, a traditional distributed control system, a DCS. We'll be able to um, uh, mimic a, a PLC, programmable logic controller. We'll be able to create IoT systems, which really are just a, a massive amount of, of uh, lower cost sensors bringing information up to some cloud or on-premise server, and then making that data available to the control system, to analytic systems, um, whatever is appropriate. We'll be able to mimic SCADA system, supervising control and data acquisition. So say for a long pipeline, thousand miles long, with different pumping stations and measurements along the way, we'll be able to bring all that data into a centralized location, all with the same basic footprint of a controller, like a distributed control node, as we call it, um, advanced computing platforms and applications which are designed to work in this environment as they would conform to a series of interfaces and how to access data, how to report their, their health to the system management function and, and be able to then um, create unique IP and unique value inside that program which is protected so suppliers of that don't have to yield their, their um, 
intellectual property. The Open Process Automation Forum is um, under the Open Group and it has a great collaboration effect. And it's a neutral area where different suppliers, system integrators, and end users have come together and we can create um, a specification which will still allow competitiveness at the supplier and system integrator level. It's going to give value to the end users um, by improving their operation, reducing their automation lifecycle costs, and giving them flexibility for years to come in their operating philosophy and operating plans.